Hello everyone. <laughs> Navigation interrupted me because we have our uh, GPS issue again. Um, looks like it's trying to lock back on. But um, I am taking a ride into town tonight. Um, we're just going to see how, we're, how this does. I'm actually going to change this to chill mode and see how that affects us. Um, just want to see if that has any noticeable differences uh, on this route. Of course, this is at night versus, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, the last time going to Carl Sandburg is, of course, during the day, first thing in the morning. Um, I'm not sure why it was going so slow. It could have been navigation, could have been something else. Um, but it just decided to not speed up very quickly there. Now we got an autopilot currently unavailable. I guess we'll see once we get on the highway. This is the same thing that happened last time. Is it going to slow down? Yeah, it wasn't... It wasn't even gonna try to like, go here. I don't know if that's saying Navigant Autopilot was limited here. And so we also got construction on the highway tonight. So I'm gonna have to go left here in the left lane. I'm just gonna merge manually here. So we're gonna have a lot of issues with. Um, with it trying to get in the right lane, I might even cancel it because there, this construction is going to be here for the next three or so years uh, while they're remodeling this bridge right here. So this is going to be a real pain for us. It just needs to be able to read these signs. Um, I don't know what to say besides that. It's going to try and constantly get over in the right lane. I look. I, it's, I'm going to have to turn off automatic lane changes, probably. That's um, probably what's going to have to happen. As you can see, there's a uh, giant arrow to the left. The car currently can't read that. There are signs that say, right lane closed on both sides of the road. There's another sign that points to the left. And you got a bunch of blinking cones. It's pretty freaking obvious that you have to get over in the left lane. And it, for some reason you couldn't tell that truck was slowing down. And I'm looking dead forward at that truck and my hand was also pressing down on the wheel so I'm not sure why it gave me a notification. It's really frustrating that um, it just, it seems so, such a downgrade. It's a lot more um, restrictive on, um, just a lot of false, false positives on the monitoring system. And it put on the left turn single. It did that last time it came to this construction zone. There is no lane to change right here to get around this truck. Again, I'm looking dead forward at this truck and my hand is like putting weight on the wheel. Um, pulling down on it. I would never normally have uh, any uh, alarms on the highway or normally, but for whatever reason, I guess because in construction it's going to beep at me no matter what. And maybe it's just to alert me this construction, like obviously. I, I'm not quite sure of any logic. If you can see any reason why it might beep besides it just wants to alert me that, hey, keep focused. It's a construction zone. You know, I my hands on the wheel and I am focused looking forward obviously it's dark in the cabin so maybe if I light up my face um, that'll help well, we'll see and I'm gonna go ahead it's not gonna try and speed up see right now it should be speeding up I'm gonna press the accelerator so this is how it should start speeding up to go past this truck just like this Now I took off the accelerator and now it's speeding up on its own. And now it should get over in the right lane and it is. So that's appropriate. But all that construction zone right there just should not even 
and try to get over it with all those signs. how it slows down here. It should already be slowing down just a tiny bit. Like it needs to be slowing down more and you said now and you can see it go back to power on the right. Well actually maybe my resolution won't show that. It should just be slowing down the entire way versus slow versus coasting and then slowing down again. It should just be gradually slowing down the whole way. Like this isn't bad, but I'm a perfect perfectionist, and so I expect it eventually just to slow down the whole way. And for no reason at all, it should be like slowing down, coasting, staying at like 60, and then speeding back up a mile an hour and going back down at speed again. It's just the entire way, as soon as I exit, should be slowing down using region. And I should see these red lights up ahead and start slowing down instead of speeding up still for these. Okay, so phantom brake right there because that car, it needs to be able to read turn singles. They need to just go ahead and just add that in. It's, there's so many little bits um, that you don't really realize just aren't there in the code. That like turn singles, the logic would be, hey, the car has this turn single on. Hey, the car started to exit the lane. There's a very good chance that the car is going to continue exiting that lane to the right because the right turn signal is on. We should start speeding up to go past that car. Now, if for any reason the, my car detects, hey, it is no longer going to the right, then uh, no go longer going to the right, then um, I should stop speeding up because that there's a chance that car could come back into my lane. But right now, because of this truck, my car should not go in. Okay, now we're good to go because the truck's passed. We are still good to go. Okay, I had to press. Holy, that wasn't chill at all. It straight up did full acceleration around that corner. <laughs> Uh, that was the complete opposite of chill. So I'm not sure what I was doing there. Um, that's never happened in the average mode. So I'm not sure what was going on. I think it might have had something to do if I was half pressing the accelerator to keep it from braking. Even though it was good to go on that red, bright and red. And then the light turned green and all of a sudden it's like the car's like, Just go, go, go. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe some, something to do with me pressing the accelerator definitely affected that. It seems like in 10.4 that it's not seeing cars in front as quickly and slowing down for them. Because, at least at night, the previous update when I did this on at night seemed to... I am trying to get in front of this truck. This truck was like merging over to my right and I didn't like that. So... Because everyone wants to be going 10 over the speed limit. So, yeah. They actually often are cop cars sitting right here. Uh, because it goes from a 45 to a 35. If you're going 50 into 35, then yeah. Easy to pull you over. Okay, first of all, we're taking a right right here. It should not be getting over in the left lane. The reason it probably did is because of this car right here. I saw that car on the right, and it's like, hey, we need to get over. Um, but the problem is, it, it saw a yellow light, and it was not going to slow down. It was going to take a, get in the left lane and go right through the yellow light, and then go around the car that was right here. That was likely why it turned the blinker on. However, what it should have just done is slowed down for the yellow light. We're, like, we're in chill mode. I didn't accidentally put in... Yeah, we're in chill mode. Not assertive, so I'm not sure. Like, it feels more assertive than average uh, right now. I have no idea why. Uh, it just seems like based on that acceleration out of the corner, based, my understanding is that assertive is more likely to go through yellow light than chill mode is. And so I'm not sure why uh, it decided, hey, we're just going to go through this yellow light up here. 
this road is always very difficult uh, because it has really poor lane markings further up ahead. And so, well, actually, even right here, I can still see, you can still see the double yellow, but it just has really poor lane markings. Right here, yeah, it was really hesitant with that car coming. It just, it can hardly see lane lines right here. You can see it kind of flickering right there, which is, that's accurate. There are very, very faded lane lines right here. And to be honest, it seems to be doing slightly better on this road. The brake for that car right there got a little bit, a little bit shy, if you will. Turn left onto East Barnwell Street. Keep on and phantom braking a good bit, but that's strictly that's strictly because of um the poor lane lines. I actually got into this um no don't go. There's a ton of cars coming here. They actually did a very good job. Is the car, the car behind me beeped at me? Even though there were cars coming. Now turn right onto South King Street. Okay, you can go. So that was a little bit improved over uh, the previous update. Uh, it, instead of swerving into this lane and swerving back to that lane, kind of it's still overturned. It still definitely was. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that. It um, overturned that uh, feet turn, turn, obviously. Um, third it swung out too far. And so what's what it's probably going to do here is just swing. Actually, this is appropriate. That's what, that's kind of what I would do. Just go ahead and merge over into the left lane here. Now turn left onto third avenue. So you should use your turn signal to do so. Okay, so not a zero disengagement drive, everyone, but um, a decent drive nonetheless. And maybe there's no one behind us, so this is a perfect opportunity. Now your destination is on the right. Um, is this is it not gonna do it? So much for park mode. see me mainly <laughs> park I'm not very good at parallel parking this is probably like literally less than 10 times I've ever parallel parked in my life and so the camera system on the car obviously helps a lot but eh, I did it but the P then it the P never came up I mean I went and pulled up next to this car I put it in reverse but nothing came up so uh, and I haven't yet tried the visual um, park mode, but it just doesn't seem to work. So, yeah, if anyone has any questions for me, um, see any comments, any concerns, i uh, glad to chat you in the comments. I read all of your comments down below, and I'll glad to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.